So actually, I'm in the middle of filming part two of my walkthrough series for Digimon Survive. However, I noticed the comments on Twitter saying that they wanted refunds because the game isn't what was advertised. In this video, we're just going to simply dive in on whether or not Digimon Survive talks too damn much. Next. Ayo hey, guys, your favorite Kage, Enigma Kage, bringing yet another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hope you stick around. Watch a few of my videos and hey, maybe you subscribe today. So check it. If you've been following people's Let's Plays, you would have noticed that the game is super heavy with the dialogue. I mean, to be fair, Bandai Namco has marketed this as a visual novel with TRPG elements built in. The prologue is pretty damn long. I mean, it takes you roughly about an hour and 45 minutes before you even see a Digimon. That's ridiculous because a lot of people just want to get into the fighting. I'll be honest. The story, in my opinion, is fantastic. It doesn't drag like most people are trying to make it out to be. However, if you're planning on jumping straight into combat and picking your Digi Squad, you're going to be in a world of hurt. The conversation in the beginning is slightly dragged, and for good reasoning. They have to develop these characters' personalities to the player. You do get choices throughout the game, and even then, that felt like a waste because in the grand scheme of things, you just really want to get into the action. I wouldn't label this game as misleading because if you go to the website, it literally says hybrid visual novel in the first sentence of the description. This is just the norm for these visual novel titles and it's just how it is. If you haven't purchased the game yet, I'm going to tell you this small spoiler. You will have to wait a while in the prologue for you to actually feel like you're in control. Afterwards, you will meet your Digimon and the game really starts. So take it from me, you will get a chance to actually feel like you're in control and the dialogue doesn't bother you as much as it did in the beginning. I hope this kind of clean up the misconception of the game being a dialogue heavy TRPG instead of taking it for what it's worth and that is it's a hybrid visual novel TRPG. Digimon Survive is out now in stores and of course you can get it digitally on any of your console stores as well. 